Hey, what's up guys? This is Theo from Fino Concept. So first of all, welcome to the month of October. And secondly, today we are going to create this. In Adobe After Effects. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Okay, so open up After Effects and create a new composition. Now I'll leave my weight as um, 1920 and my height as 1080. I want this to be a 1080p and the duration I'll just leave it at 10 seconds. You can go ahead and change the background color and I'll click OK. Now the first thing I'll do is double click on this project. So in case you have it on effects or something, just double click on this project and import your image. Now I'll click and drop this image over here so that it appears on the timeline. Now the first thing we are going to do is if this layer is selected, just click on the empty space right here so that the layer will be unselected like so. I'll just zoom in and I'll grab my rectangle tool which is right here. And I'll just draw a perfect rectangle or it can be any rectangle at all. Just make sure it covers up the logo like so. So let's just zoom back out. Now I'll quickly hide the options here. So first of all, if you don't have these three um, little options right here, just make sure you click on toggle switches. Now under track mat, I will go ahead and change the track mat of the logo to alpha mat shape layer one which is this shape layer now you can see this is what we are getting so first of all i'll go ahead and select this logo right here i'll open up the options for that and i'll create a keyframe for scale and rotation now if we move one second i'll change the scale and the rotation but for now let's just keep it as that so i create another keyframe for the scale and rotation then we go back to the beginning of the timeline. I'll increase the scale to about 150. Then I'll change the rotation to about 90 degrees. So that would be the second option right here. So if I move this, this is what I'm getting like so. Now let's quickly um, go to the shape layer. I'll open the options up. I'll go to transforms. Now, just like the options for the logo, I'll create a keyframe for the scale and the rotation. Now, the first part for the rotation, instead of the 90 degree, just like the logo, I'll make it negative 90 degree so that it will be moving in the opposite direction. Then for the scale, I'll make it smaller. So right around um, 15 is okay. Now I'll move the frame to one second. Then I'll change the scale back to 100 and the rotation I'll make it zero. So basically this is the effect we are getting. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just hide this up. So that is the first part. Um, if you want to make this move a little bit slower, just highlight the layers, press you on your keyboard and play with the keyframe. So let's just make this two seconds. So I click and drag this over here. Now to make this um, animation seamless, no, a little bit nicer, I'll go ahead and select all the keyframes, right click and go to keyframe assistant, and I'll just click on easy ease. Now it's going to change the little diamond icons into this um, icon. In my country, we call it Tapoli. So <laughs> anyway, so we have this effect here now i'll go to the third second then this is where i'm going to start inputting the text so i'll grab my type 2 which is right here horizontal type 2 then i'll type in um just a tutorial you can see so i'll just double click and change the color under the character i'll change the color to white now, if you don't have the character, just go to window and check character, which is right here. 
So I'll go ahead and make um, change the font to something like Vedana because I like the font so much. And I'll select the bold version, so like so. And you can always increase the text size right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably use 36. Now, um, you might want to center this at the. No, you might want to center this. You can see that if you try to move it along, you might not get the perfect thing. So just go to window and make sure you have align selected. So for align, uh, where's my? I just hide it. So for align, just click on the horizontal center alignment and the vertical center alignment. So you have something like this. Now you can go ahead and use um, the down arrow key to move it. And if you want to move it a little bit a little bit faster, just hold down shift and use the down arrow key. So this is what we are getting. Now we want to animate this for it to come from the bottom. So what we'll do is with the text layer selected, or just make sure it is not selected, we'll grab another rectangle to zoom in. Then we'll create a rectangle around it like so. So just like the logo, we are going to do the same thing here. Now with that done, I'll change the alpha mat of the text to alpha mat shape layer 2, just like the logo. Now let's fit this to screen so that we can see. So what I'll do is for the position of the text, I press P on the keyboard. Then I'll create a keyframe for the position. Then I'll move one second. Then I'll create another keyframe. Now for the beginning of the animation, you can use this little arrow here to go to that. I'll change the location of the text. So I'll just adjust the y axis so i'll just bring the text a little bit down so you can see it is fading away now if we move towards um four seconds it is showing it like so so as always i'll just highlight the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease so what i'll do is let's quickly hide that i'll highlight everything right click on it and go to pre-compose and you can just name it anything you want but make sure that you click on move all attributes to new composition adjust composition duration all of that stuff and i'll hit ok now since this is a 10 seconds video i'll just make sure i select um i go over to the center which is five seconds and i'm going to divide this into two now to do this all you have to do is hold down Control and press d so that will duplicate it so you hold down alt and press the right bracket key so that will just cut that part off now i'll do the same for the bottom one so to just cut that part off so i just select the first one and drag it onto the five seconds point so this is what we are having the logo will come in then over here it is repeating again now this is not what we want so what i'll do is for the top layer which is the second one i'll just right click go to time and I'll go ahead and reverse the time. So time reverse layer. Now, this is what we are getting. So what you can see is it is reversing the layer itself. So if you go ahead and play this, this is our final video. So um, if this is too slow for you, you can go ahead and speed it up. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Fino Concepts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Damn.